In poor weather and freezing temperatures, you'll need to be able to rely on your car's battery. The cold can greatly affect a car's battery, leading to poor starting and other electrical problems. As you can see here, at minus 12, my diesel struggles into life and runs badly for the first minute or so. Battery maintenance is something that anyone can do. We make life easier for ourselves though by removing the battery from the car. You should always be sure to disconnect the black earth lead first. This minimises the risk of causing a short circuit. There is a 10mm nut which secures the clamps on the battery terminals and a 10mm socket is used to undo the bolts that secure the battery strap, holding the battery in place. This is the original battery for this car. It's about 8 years old, which just goes to show that regular maintenance can help prolong its life. Just remember to be careful, batteries can be very heavy. I'm going to give it a quick clean with degreaser and then we can look at the condition of the battery. With a voltmeter you can see that across the terminals we have 12.36 volts. This battery is actually in pretty good shape. With this battery we remove the cap by prying it off carefully with a flat bladed screwdriver. Other batteries have six individual screw ports that you use to open up the battery chambers. You should always be careful when doing this. You should usually wear goggles to prevent any acid or chemicals being flicked into your eyes. And if you do get anything on your hands, if not wearing gloves, be sure to wash it off as soon as possible using plenty of water. When we lift the caps off, you can see the six chambers. Each chamber is a cell that in series goes together to make up the 12 volts of the battery. Each cell of the battery contains a sulfuric acid solution. Over time, this solution is evaporated off and we use deionized water to top it up. We need to ensure that the lead plates in the battery cells are covered. We're going to connect up our six amp battery charger, leaving the cap off the battery and we're going to turn this on and leave it for a few hours to give the battery a good charge. As the battery charges, the needle on the charger moves over towards the lower number. While charging, the battery can give off hydrogen gas, which we record bubbling here in the chambers. Because of this, you should always be careful of open flames near a charging battery. Once charged, we disconnect the battery and replace the battery's cap. With our voltmeter, we're going to have a look again some five hours later to see how much electricity is in the battery. And this shows now we have about 13.7 volts. We can now put the battery back in the car. Once in, we connect the red live lead to the battery first, and then the earth. Following this, we put the strap back on the battery to make sure it's secured properly in the car. From cold, our little diesel engine starts much better, and the rough running isn't quite as bad as it was before. So if you have a power steering problem on your fit, why not give this a go?